today we're going to compare the top six online business models for a beginner to start in 2024. We're going to be ranking them based upon cost, margins, difficulty, competition, and we're going to do a final rank at the end to tell you the best business model to start in 2024. My name's Craig and I've generated multiple seven figures online over the past five years. We're going to be running through FBA, Shopify, Etsy, SMMA, sales and OFM. I've personally been in five of these six industries and I currently still run businesses in three of these six industries. Okay, so let's get started. The first business model is Amazon FBA. So Amazon FBA means Amazon fulfilled by Amazon. So you're buying bulk items from China, from wherever, you're shipping it to an Amazon warehouse and then you're trying to list it on their website and trying to sell it. So what is the cost to start with Amazon FBA is anywhere from about $3,000 up to about $10,000. Typically with a platform like Amazon, it's very, very small margins because you're competing with so many people, you're selling the exact same product as everyone else. So the margins really range from about five to 10%. Difficulty, how hard is Amazon FBA? If you're a complete and utter beginner, I'm gonna put it as medium to hard, okay? It's not the hardest thing in the entire universe, but it's not easy. Competition, what is the competition like on Amazon? I'm gonna say this is very, very, very high. Amazon is a marketplace that has been around for so long. There's so many people on the platform. Everyone's selling the exact same item. So it means that everyone's competing on price. So you have end up with very, very low margins. So the competition is actually very, very, very high. So my own personal experience with Amazon FBA is that it just takes a lot of money and a lot of time to actually get started and get going. The reason why it takes a lot of money is because you have to buy the bulk stock and you actually can't test it until you do that. It's very, very complicated. There's a lot of extra little details and settings and stuff like this to actually just start selling on Amazon FBA. And there's so much competition from Chinese sellers, from US sellers, UK sellers. It's very, very difficult to know what to do. There's also so much information about FBA. You have no idea who to follow. You have no idea who to trust. It's very, very difficult to actually get into the industry. One thing I will say about Amazon FBA is that if you do find the right thing, you have basically infinite scalability because Amazon obviously is the biggest marketplace in the entire world. The next one we're going to be talking about is Shopify dropshipping. I actually started with Shopify dropshipping five years ago. So let's get straight into things. What are the costs to start with Shopify dropshipping? It's around 1000 to 3000 dollars you got to test a bunch of products you got to figure it out you got to put time into it so it's one to three thousand dollars to get up and going so margins for shopify drop shipping range from 10 to 20 percent when i was doing it about five years ago we got an average of about 15 to maybe 17 percent net margin so what is the difficulty of shopify drop shipping so when i first started i actually had a very close friend of mine and i was able to work for him and kind of learn everything and it was still hard okay so if you're a beginner i'm gonna put this as a medium to hard but there is a big learning curve because you've got to figure out so many different things so what's the competition like with shopify drop shipping i'm gonna say it's high Okay, it is a very busy industry, it is saturated, but it doesn't mean you still can't do it as a complete and utter beginner. You're just gonna have to put a lot more effort in compared to back in the day, 2016, 2017, when it was much, 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 much easier. So my personal experience with Shopify dropshipping, we still do a bit of it today, but it's not my main focus, is really, it's the learning that you get from it, okay? You learn so many different skills, from video creatives, to media buying, to managing employees, to building websites, to doing so many different things, customer service. You understand so many different things and that's why Shopify dropshipping was really valuable for me because I took that and I built some longer term brands with that knowledge okay so it's got a lot it's got a very big barrier to entry in terms of knowledge but it's also very very good for the fact that you learn so many different skills another pro is that if you do figure it out it's very easy to scale it and scale it fast quite quickly if you do figure it out which does take a bit of time you can get to 10 or 20k days with a winner quite quickly the main Main con with Shopify dropshipping is that it is very hard at the beginning because there is so many things to learn. Like if you're coming in as a beginner, it is actually very, very difficult to figure out everything and understand everything. And it doesn't, it's, it's expensive, right? One to three thousand dollars for the initial testing budget. So what is Etsy dropshipping? So Etsy is a marketplace kind of similar to Amazon and you're basically just 
selling on the platform. There's one different little thing is that it's for unique items, unique giftable items. On Amazon, you're selling toilet paper and pens, whereas on Etsy, you're selling kind of jewelry, expensive jewelry, you're selling nice clothing items, things like that. Items that are unique. What is the cost to start Etsy dropshipping? Typically, it's between $250 and $300. So what are the margins with Etsy dropshipping? Around 30 to 50% net profit. So if you sell something for $100, you're going to take home in your back pocket $30 to $50. So what is the difficulty of Etsy dropshipping? It is easy to medium because it's easy to get started, but obviously nothing's an overnight success. You're not going to make money, make millions overnight. Okay, so it's not totally, totally easy, right? So easy to medium. So what's the competition like with Etsy dropshipping? I'm going to put medium. So there is a lot of sellers on the Etsy platform, but most of the sellers are complete and utter morons, okay? They are 40, 50, 60 year old women that don't really understand what they're doing and don't really have much motivation to make millions of dollars. So there's a lot of competition, but they're quite easy to compete with. So I'm gonna put medium. So the main pros of Etsy is that it's very, very low cost and it's actually high margin as well. So it's quite easy to get into and actually get going. The main con with Etsy is that you can't really build a brand and you can't, it's hard to exit it and hard to get that big, big exit in the future. It's a very good cash flow business, but are you going to make tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars? No. But as a beginner, I would say it's actually a very, very good business model because it's easy and low cost. So the next business model is a social media marketing agency, also known as an SMMA, where you're providing services to other people. Maybe that's writing their emails or doing their Instagram or doing their ads or things like this. I'm kind of lumping them all in together, like the social media marketing world, right? Maybe it's posting on Instagram, posting on Facebook, doing these type of things. So there's absolutely no cost to start this, which is a pro and a con, I guess. But yeah, there's no cost to start this. So the margins for social media marketing agencies range from about 50 to 70 percent i would say on average because if you're doing it all yourself obviously it's going to be a hundred percent margins technically but most people after the beginning stages aren't going to be doing that maybe running paid ads to get clients whatever right but typically it's going to be 50 to 70 percent margins so in my personal experience of doing smmas and having a bunch of friends that also run smmas is that it's a hard industry to get into so we'll talk about that a little bit later i'm gonna just put hard on the board for now there's two main cons of social media marketing agencies the first one is the competition anyone can start it so that means there are so many people in the industry doing the outreach whether it's cold calling whether it's emails whether it's dms there are so many people i get at least 30 messages every single day from agencies trying to sign me for some random ass offer the second reason is that you're basically working a glorified nine to five you pretty much have to suck your client's dick to just try and keep them because a lot of agencies have very high churn so maybe a client will come on for two or three months and then they'll leave and it's just a very, very difficult industry to actually remove yourself from the business. The main pro of an SMMA is if you do figure it out, it is a high cash flow business, okay? You can't exit it, you can't sell the business, that just doesn't work, but it's high cash flow because it's good margins, and if you do keep clients, it is high cash flow. So sales is the next business model, and we're specifically talking about remote sales where you are selling someone else's business or selling someone else's offer, product or service, maybe it's an agency, or maybe it's whatever, right? Doesn't matter and you are taking a commission of whatever you close. Normally you're on commission only. So the cost to start this is absolutely zero, right? You don't need to buy anything. You don't need to do anything. Like it's literally zero. So what are the margins with sales? Basically it's hundred percent, right? You're taking 10% of like whatever product, but you're making hundred percent. There's no cost associated with doing that thing apart from your time, obviously. So hundred percent margins. So what's the difficulty of remote sales? I'm gonna put easy to medium, to be honest. It's quite easy to actually get started and get going. It's not that difficult. It's medium because it's quite hard to find a good offer to sell right it's quite hard to find a good product to sell of someone else's either the product's really shit or your commission shit or it's just not enough leads things like this so what is the competition like with remote sales i'm gonna put very high there's a lot of closers because again people see the 100 percent margins and zero upfront cost so it means there is literally so many salesmen so it is there's a lot of competition basically. So the main pro of remote sales is that it is going to be useful in your main life, right? It's always useful to have more confidence and to understand how to speak to people. The main con of being a remote salesman is that it's a nine to five, basically, right? It's a glorified nine to five. Yes, maybe you have the opportunity to earn more money, but it's very, very difficult and you're always exchanging your time for money. 
You're always exchanging your time for money. You still have to pick up the call, right? Whereas if e com you can remove yourself from the business, you can hire other people, things like that. But as a remote salesman, you always have to pick up the phone to make money. So the last business model is OnlyFans management. So OnlyFans management, pretty much you're typing to men to try and get them to ejaculate pretty much is the what you do right you're hiring models you're pretending to be the models you're posting on instagram things like this trying to get traffic to then type to them and get them to pay you money to then show you their dick and it's just super super gay honestly do not do it right do not do it so now we've gone through all the business models let's get ranking them so only fans management is going to be very 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 dead last at number six so what is number five we're going to put social media marketing agencies as number five because it lacks scalability it's very hard to actually scale keep your current customers and it's just a very very difficult industry because there is so much competition for a beginner it is a bad business model number four is going to be amazon fba because it's very high competition very low margin and you're constantly competing against people that have been on Amazon for five or ten years number three is remote sales essentially you're working a glorified nine-to-five it's good for a couple reasons right you're making commission you're getting paid and you're learning a lot of valuable skills but you're essentially working a nine-to-five so it's very very difficult to actually scale it and actually make ten twenty thousand dollars profit each and every single month doing this number two is Shopify dropshipping because you learn a lot of skills it doesn't require too too much like obviously amazon fba is three to 10k shopify is only one to 3k you learn a lot of skills and you can also remove yourself from the business you have the potential to exit in the future things like this although that's quite difficult but shopify dropshipping is coming in at number two number one is etsy dropshipping don't get me wrong there are cons there are issues it's not going to be fucking millions and millions of dollars overnight no business is like that but for its low startup cost for its ease of use on the platform and for the pure profit margins you can make and you can also remove yourself from the business it is easily the number one business to start for a complete beginner in 2024 so yeah etsy drop shipping is low cost you only need 250 to 300 dollars to start up the margins are 30 to 50 percent and it's actually very very easy in terms of competition because you're competing against 40 year old mums okay so the business models on the board that i personally run are etsy that has made me the most money over the past two years because it's just so heavy on cash flow. I also run Shopify dropshipping and Shopify brands. And I also have a social media marketing agency as well, which is very, very small. Doesn't make me much money. So I've done five out of the six business models on the board. Etsy dropshipping is by far the best for a complete beginner because it's so easy to get started, so easy to make money immediately when you do Etsy dropshipping. If you're a beginner, I have a completely free guide for you about Etsy dropshipping. Click the top link in the description. It's a 45 Five minute eight step goes over a to z exactly how to start etsy drop shipping if you're a beginner adding products doing the listings all that type of stuff so click the top link in the description if you want all of my free guides go follow me on instagram and dm me the word etsy on instagram so dm me the word on etsy on instagram and i will send you over eight free guides including three case studies of my six figure stores okay so i'll see you guys next time make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel as well and safe.